Yo, 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 what it do, people? It's your boy, Mike Easy, back with the real. You already know the deal, man. And I hate to make this video, man. I hate these type of videos, man. When we got to talk about, you know, somebody else dying to gun violence, man. Especially when it's a kid, man. Especially when it's a 15-year-old kid that, man, he didn't even get a chance at life, man. He didn't even get old enough to get a driver license, man. And he gone already. And especially when it comes from a millionaire man that gets on flexes his watch on ig after his son just got killed that's after he made, just made a post about his son dying he gets on there and flexes with his watch now maybe he grieves differently you know man but this gun violence thing is taking a toll on the country man and it's a lot from you know the music i seen a change in the city i grew up in after drill culture came out with all the you know the different music bang bang everybody walking around with glock 30s and everything people taking pictures posting them online I seen how it changed the culture. I seen how it changed the people around me and uh, their mindset, you know, people living in, you know, especially in poverty or people, people that live, grew up in nice suburbs, man, just wanting to go to the hood just to have that image. You know what I mean? They end up getting killed over some, some BS, man. But it's a sad right now, man. And I just don't understand why I've been, man, Kevo riding around in a million dollar car. We just seen his car get broke into and it's like some luxury handbags or whatever got stole out of it. But riding around in a million dollar car with a million dollars worth of jewelry, you know, saying he's doing all this and that, but your son's still out there in the hood. And I don't know what kind of house his son lived in, but you can tell the lifestyle that he lived by the pictures he posted. You know, he posting pictures with guns, like with Glock 30s and everything. So, I mean, you should have been using that money to coach your kid right. You've been famous on the internet for a while now. I think since like, what, 2012, you dropped his first song. So that's about, what, 12 years ago. Your son was only 15. That means your son was around three years old then. You had plenty of time, you know, to make sure you develop your son into the right thinking habits. Say, hey, man, I want to stay away from the streets. As soon as you seen your son with that gun the first time, you know, you should have whooped him. You should have told him, hey, man, look. This ain't the right way to go. There's only two ways you can go living this lifestyle and it's hell or jail. And that's just the way it is, man. So it's very sad and unfortunate. Boy, they didn't even get to live his life out, man. And, you know, man, that, that's like a failed, like it's, that's like a failed father. You know what I'm saying? How are you living this type of lifestyle, but your son's still out there in the hood? You know, it's just very, man, it, it's messed up, man. I'm telling you that uh, all these young kids is getting getting killed and um man it's man i don't even know what to say man it's just sad we're seeing all this stuff happening and it's not even in la chicago atlanta new york jacksonville you know michigan st louis they all got rough parts in them you know and uh kalamazoo michigan is where this young man got killed kevion batman kevo son and it's just real sad and unfortunate man but what got me is how how he posted where after his son died, you know, he made a little futile post about his son, but then he want to post his watch. Like, that's going to validate something. Man, that material stuff do not matter, bro. That shit do not matter Your whenever it comes to your family, man. Your family, it comes first. So that is tell me one or two things. You really didn't have a good relationship with your son. That's probably why he was still up there. Or, uh... Man, you, you really didn't care that much, or maybe it could be three things, or you just grieve differently, man. But I just don't see how you can grieve like that. And it's just it's just very sad and unfortunate, man. You know, you had plenty of time to get your kid in that mindset. You just didn't want to. You know, you was uh content with him living that lifestyle. Cause uh man, ain't ain't no way, man. If I had all that money, ain't no damn way my son would still be in the hood. If you really, you know, cared about him and had that relationship with him. And uh, my son would be out. I'd be trying to get his mind right. He'd be working a job. He'd be trying to, you know, get into computers, engineering. I'd be teaching him about business. You want to teach everybody else about business, you should have been teaching your son about business. And I ain't trying to get on the man because the son just died. I'm just like, man, it's a failed opportunity. You know, that's what I get out of it. Failed opportunity, man. Life wasted over some BS. Now, we don't know what it was about. It was probably some gang stuff. You know, him being out there and then him being Batman Kevo's son. You know, he's going to tell his friends that. You know, he's going to be like, 
and bragging, hey, man, man, Kevin's my daddy, even if he didn't do nothing about it. Maybe his daddy just gave him a little st bit of stuff here and there, sent his mama a little bit of money to try to keep child support off of him. Whatever the case may be, people are going to uh, single you out and take you out because of that. Could have been over a little bit of money, you know. Uh, man, you just got to watch out. And whenever you got a name like that, you got parents like that, you are singled out. People are going to look at you differently, you know what I mean? So... I just very I just find it very unfortunate man that he had to lose his life at this very young age. Didn't even get to get his driver license yet, man. The boy was fifteen years old, you know, didn't even get to experience nothing in life. And uh man. You know, I hope they do find the killers. I hope they do get justice for the boy. But uh man, it's just very sad and unfortunate, man, like I said. And uh another young brother gunned down, man. Gunned down. Damn. R.P. to Kevion, man. R.P. Very sad, very sad day. But, man, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay notified, man. You know we drop it real. You already know the deal over here. Until the next video, man. Peace. I'll be back with y'all with some more updates on this, on this video.